Whenever Vincenzo Nibali pops up on screen, you can be sure an attack is soon to follow. Nicknamed the Shark, last year's Giro d'Italia winner's always explosive when on top form. His ability to descend is second to none, but behind the daredevil image lays a master tactician. InCycle travelled to the deserts of Dubai earlier this year as the Astana rider began the groundwork for his assault on the Tour de France. So how did he win the Giro last year? And what about his plan to take the yellow jersey? I trained really well for the Giro. I didn't leave anything out. Training, training camp, workouts and training with the whole group, which is key for the Giro d'Italia. We created an excellent team spirit. We worked on a close proximity program, which was perfect. To win the pink race, the Giro d'Italia, was like a dream, a childhood dream. I grew up with the story of the Giro d'Italia, the most important race in the most beautiful country, Italy. That 2013 Giro lived up to its reputation. With brutal weather conditions and testing climbs, Nibali fought and countered the attacks that came his way. The leg that I remember the most is the time trial at Sertara. It was a very important day for me because I knew I was going to gain or lose some important seconds. I knew Wiggins was one of the favourites for the time trial. He could have caught up on me. I was very well prepared, though. I didn't know if there was going to be a gap between us or not. My goal was not to lose too many seconds in the time trial and to try and do a similar timing to Wiggins. And I managed to do that. It was a very memorable time trial. The Sicilian took the Maglia Rosa on stage eight and kept it for the remainder of the race. Nibali has an intricate eye when it comes to catching his opponent off guard. Alan Vicento, Nibali is suddenly popped out and he's going long. Who's going to go with him? Nibali goes on the attack of the Cipressa. It is good to wait, but it is not good to wait too long. You have to wait for the right moment and surprise. It is the surprise that makes the difference when you do something that people are not expecting. And Nibali's had no teamwork help at all today. He's played a clever game and it, I guess this was his only option. Nibali's ability to know when to attack, allied to his exceptional descending skills, has made him a spectator's favourite. Not everyone in the peloton is as comfortable on the descents as Nibali, and he can go like no other. It is a matter of fear and technique. When you're confident, you are not scared and more determined. And if your technique is good, you climb down faster. To be the fastest, you have to be able to push the limits. On the seventh stage of the Giro last year, Nibali found where those limits lie and crashed on the final descent. Crashing is part and parcel of professional racing, but some of the greatest attacks in recent memories have come on the descents. The technique to enter a curve is the same as motorbike racing of MotoGP. You have to understand what the curve path is, stay at the outside of the curve, and have the right speed and the right path to guarantee a good grip to the road. So when you finish the curve, you should be neither too slow nor too fast, and use the whole road so that the speed is always high. I always look well ahead. I try to understand the curve. Look at this, he's barely pedaling at all. He knows the lines and he can take every single one of them, powers out of it and says, see you guys, uh, this is my party and you're not invited. Although Nibali has highlighted the Tour de France as his main goal for 2014, he'll have to snatch it away from the defending champion Chris Froome, the British rider from Team Sky. Many would agree that that could well be a tall order. 
It is hard to say what is needed to beat him. During the tour, he demonstrated he is the best climber. So first of all, you should try and match his performance uphill. It is quite hard to be better than him uphill. Once you match his performance uphill, you can put into place other techniques to try and screw him over, so to speak. I want to fight for it, win it day by day if it is possible. I have lost other races, finishing second, third, with lots of honour, no regrets.